The Antonov An-22 Ante is a heavy military transport aircraft designed by the Antonov Design Bureau in the Soviet Union. Powered by four turboprop engines each driving a pair of contra-rotating propellers, the design was the first Soviet wide-body aircraft and remains the world's largest turboprop-powered aircraft to date. The An-22 first appeared publicly outside the Soviet Union at the 1965 Paris Air Show. Since then, the model has seen extensive use in major military and humanitarian airlifts for the Soviet Union. Design and Development In the late 1950s, the Soviet Union required a large military transport aircraft to supplement the Antonov An-8 and An-12s then entering service. Originally known as the An-20, the model is a conventional multi-engined high-wing design. In the early 1960s, the Antina Bureau produced a wooden mock-up at its Kiev workshops of what was designated the Model 100. The prototype, now designated the N-22, was rolled out on August 18, 1964 and first flew on February 27, 1965. The prototype was given the name Antheus and, after four months of test flying, was displayed at the 1965 Paris Air Show. All aircraft were built at the Tashkent State Aircraft Factory and the first military delivery was made to the air transport wing at Ivanovo Air Base in 1969. The aircraft was designed as a strategic air lifter, designed specifically to expand the Soviet airborne troops' capability to land with their then new BMD-1 armored vehicles. The N-22 cargo hold can accommodate four BMD-1 compared to only one in the N-12. It also has the capability to take off from austere, unpaved, and short airstrips, allowing airborne troops to perform air landing operations. This is achieved by four pairs of contra-rotating propellers, similar to those on the two Polov to 114. The engines generate significant thrust, and produce a slipstream over the wings and large double-slotted flaps. The landing gear is rugged for rough air strips, and, in early versions, tire pressures could be adjusted in flight for optimum landing performance, although that feature was removed in later models. The N-22 follows traditional cargo transport design with a high-mounted wing allowing a large cargo space of 33 meters in length and a usable volume of 639 mar cubed. The forward fuselage is fully pressurized and provides space for 5 to 8 crew and up to 28 passengers, but the cargo space is pressurized to only 3.55 psi 0.245 bar allowing for a lighter airframe. A door equipped with pressure bulkhead is located at frame 14, separating the cargo attendant's compartment from the main cargo compartment. This allows the rear cargo doors to be opened during flight for paratroops and equipment drop. Like the N-12, the aircraft has a circular fuselage section. The N-22 has set a number of payload and payload to height world records. The N-22 has the general appearance of an enlarged version of the earlier Antonov N-12 except that it is fitted with a twin tail. This gives the N-22 better engine out performance, and reduces height restrictions for hangars. Also of note are large anti-flutter masses on the top of each tail. Only one production variant was built, the standard N-22. Prototypes, such as the one first featured at the 1965 Paris Air Show had fully glazed noses that lacked the nose-mounted radar of production models. Those aircraft had the radar mounted below the right wheel well fairing, forward of the wheels. Antonov designated a variant with a modified electrical system and an additional augmented flight control system the N-22A but the designation was not used by the military. A proposed civil airliner version capable of seating 724 passengers on upper and lower decks was planned but wasn't constructed. Variants N-22, three original were prototypes built at the Antonov facility in Kiev, with glass nose. N-22 Initial production variant with external start system, 37 built at Tashkent. And 22A, improved variant with air start capability, modified electrical system, and updated radio and navigation equipment, 28 built at Tashkent. And 22PZ, conversion of 2 and 22s to carry wing center sections or outer wings of Antonov and 124 or and 225 externally above fuselage. Fitted with third center line fin. 
several other and 22 variants were projected and constructed by Antenna but never entered serial production, notably a nuclear-powered aircraft and a ballistic missile platform. Operational history The N-22 was originally built for the Soviet Air Force and Aeroflot. Rearming from N-12 and the Air Force began in July 1974. Several military transport aviation units were equipped. The 12th MGINSK Red Banner Military Transport Aviation Division was one of the units which had its three regiments entirely equipped with the N-22s. Another unit that operated it was the 566th Solnik Nagorsk Military Transport Aviation Regiment, which used the N-22 from 1970 to 1987. An early use of the N-22 was to deliver Soviet humanitarian aid to earthquake hit Peru in July 1970. One N-22 disappeared on July 18 during these relief flights. N-22s were also used to deliver Soviet military aid to Egypt and Syria during the Yom Kippur War in 1973, to Angola in 1975, and to Ethiopia in 1977. The N-22s from Mikhailovo were used for the initial deployment of the Soviet airborne troops during the 1979 Soviet invasion in Afghanistan. One N-22 was shot down near Kabul on October 28, 1984. In 1980, one N-22 crashed at Nukovo Airport while two crashed at Mikhailovo. In 1984, military N-22s were used to deliver Mi-8 helicopters to Ethiopia during drought relief operations. In 1986 the aircraft of the 8th Military Air Transport Aviation Regiment from Mikhailovo were used to deliver materials for the Chernobyl disaster relief operation. During 1987 the N-22s were used to deliver military equipment to Angola. A year later the military N-22s were used to deliver 15,000 tons and 1,000 personnel for the 1988 Spitak earthquake relief operation in Armenia. The N-22 aircraft were often seen at the Le Budget Air Show, and in 1988 delivered an engine from N-124 to the Farnborough Air Show. In late 1980s, the N-22s were used to deliver internal troops to many regional conflicts during and after the breakup of the Soviet Union. In 1995 they deployed the Russian peacekeeping force from the 98th Guards Airborne Division during the Bosnian War. Approximately 45 and 22s remained in service by the mid-1990s, mostly with the Russian Air Force, but these are slowly being replaced by the bigger turbofan-powered Antonov and 124. The remaining and 22s appear to be operated by an independent military transport aviation squadron at Mikhailovo Base in Tver. Operators, according to unofficial sources, 5 and 22s were in use as of 2014. Equals military equals. Former, Soviet Union, Soviet Air Force, 8th Military Transport Aviation Regiment, other regiments. Current, Russia, Russian Air Force 5 active. Equals civil equals. Former, Bulgaria, Air Sofia, Ukraine, Antonov Airlines. Incidents and accidents, as of January 2011, there have been 9 hull losses with a total of 95 fatalities. Specifications Data from Jane's All the World's Aircraft 1982 Euro 83, General Characteristics, Crew, 5 Euro 6, Capacity, 290 Passengers, Payload, 80,000 kg, Length, 57.9 m, Wingspan, 64.40 m, Height, 12.53 m, Wing Area, 345 m2, Empty Weight, 114,000 kg, max takeoff weight, 250,000 kg, power plant, 4A, costs of NK 12 MA turboprops driving contra rotating propellers, 11,186 kW each, performance, maximum speed, 740 km per hour, range, 5,000 km with maximum payload. 10,950 km with maximum fuel and 45,000 kg payload. See also, Related Development, Antonov and 12, Aircraft of Comparable Role, Configuration and Era, Airbus A400M, Antonov and 70, Douglas C-133, Lockheed C-5 Galaxy, Related Lists, List of Military Aircraft of the Soviet Union and the CIS.
References Alexander, Jean. Russian Aircraft Since 1910. London, Pernell Book Services. Gordon, Efim. Kimisarov, Dmitry. Kimisarov, Sergei. Antonov and 22, A Venerable Giant. Air International, pages 30 a Euro 37. CS1 Maintenance, Extra Text, Gunston, Bill. The Osprey Encyclopedia of Russian Aircraft 1875 a Euro 1995. Osprey, London. ISBN 1-85532-405-9. Stroud, John. Soviet Transport Aircraft Since 1945. London, Putnam. ISBN 0-370-00126-5. Further reading, Piotr Butowski, Air Power Analysis A Euro-Russian Federation Part 2 Feet in International Air Power Review, Volume 13, Summer 2004, Airtime Publishing Incorporated, Nork, CT. Gerbel, Greg. The Anton of Giants. Air Vectors. Archived from the original on August 12, 2006. Retrieved June 28, 2006. Antonov and 22 AntheusAirliners.net. Archived from the original on June 18, 2006. Retrieved June 28, 2006. External links. Walker and 22 THRA 09309 at MAKS 2009, Second Walk. Walk around THTH 1 half minus 22 at Munino Museum, Russia, airliners.net and 22, AN 22 specifications in comparison to other cargo charter aircraft, Aeronautics Ruin 22, 8th Air Transport Air Regiment.